All right, I'm gonna take my time with this one. It's painful. I wanted to make one video. I ended up making three. Okay, where we left off. Women must conserve the temple, preserve the temple rather, of baby Horus, right? Hathor, the house of Horus. Okay, context of dating, meeting, potential mate. Now again, woman is celebrated when she's bigger, when she's given birth. Okay, that is the form of woman that is celebrated when she's bigger. And yes, it is fair. You know, because yes, it does symbolize, with all due respect, the failure of past generations when a woman is using, you know, if she's going to use a genetic argument, she's saying, well, well, you know, in a eugenic society where we talk about good genes, you know, she's going to say, well, you know, uh, uh, it's because of my genes I'm, I'm big. You know, mind, body, and soul, go exercise. If your genes, if that's your obstacle, you know, try harder. You know, you don't say, well, you know, you run faster in a race if you think somebody is faster than you are or somebody's going to beat you by the speed they're going. I mean, for me, I didn't have to explain this. is fucking disgraceful. You, look, you fat fuck, go fucking exercise and don't say, oh, he's skinny, right? You have a guy in perfect fucking shape. You know, he's a fucking sprinter and some fat bitch is going to say, oh, you're small. Shut, get her the fuck out of here. Get her the fuck out of here. Anyway, countless dicks where baby will be. I've gone over that. Harder to clean the vagina, Okay. And, they, and scientists say that it's even worse. They say that your DNA is changed, right? They, whoever you sleep with, they leave traces in your, in your chemistry or whatever the fuck they say, okay? They even see it that way. Those pussies, those bitches. Get them out of here. Get those geeks out of here. You heartless, help build the new world order type of bitches. Well, how do you think your science is going to be used? To overthrow the devil? Get them out of here. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Receptivity to sex is less in women naturally and for a reason. Okay, so they're supposed to be receptive to the hero. And them, you know, they say, you know, baby, I want to have sex. Well, I'm not in the mood, right? They're the ones who say I'm not in the mood, you know, naturally. You know, you see, you see a mutation from time to time, but that is, that is how it's supposed to be. That is the design. Okay? Aggression in healthy humans is greater in the man naturally. Stranger-based aggression, right? I see a woman, right, and, I, and, I, and I, I try to go out there and get her, right, because this is my testosterone, this sperm is being produced every day and blah, 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 right? The chemistry of a man is such that he is more sexually aggressive, you know? And even when you go to, even if you go to Santa Cruz or something, right, in the absence of these gender-neutral sissies, okay, it's the same way. The man is the one trying to get the woman. She's just walking around, doo, 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 doo. she's like, look, you know, all I have to do is look sexy. His aggression, you know, he thinks with his dick, it's going to overcome him. And he's going to be like, hey, 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 can I get your number? Okay. Warrior reason, right? There's a reason why this is. He is the warrior. She is not. Technology is invalid and unnatural. If you say, well, well, you know, what if, what if the bitch starts taking a bunch of hormones and fucking working out at the gym? Can you imagine that we live in a society that would use technology as an argument. Well, what about her? She's stronger than you. What about her? That steroid using bitch. And obviously it's a combination of things, okay? When the leopard, uh, you know, hunts a bigger animal, one can argue that some of the animals the leopard can hunt, we'll say like a gorilla, is stronger than it is. But it can outmaneuver it and rip out its fucking throat. Ah, ah, ah. You know? So, what about it? You know, is the strongest animal the king of the jungle? Is the silverback gorilla? You know, is, 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 is a hippo? Why don't we say the elephant? The leopard is a sovereign among other animals. He is king. And the lion is a variation of the leopard. So in Western culture, we say the lion is the king in some African cultures, I'm sure. But you get the fucking point. It's a combination of things one way or another. The best man win, not the strongest man win. So to, to simply to narrow it down to that, right? You say, well, what about her? She's a dancer. What about her? Are you fucking kidding me? I would slice her open so fucking fast. Her doing the splits and being a ballerina wouldn't save her life, no matter what. What the fuck about her? You know? And this this is where it led me to technology. Is it okay? What do you mean, right? The, the old. What do you mean, right? What do you mean? Get them the fuck out of here. When I make myself crystal clear to where children can understand, if you're a what do you mean type of bitch, get that dishonorable, avoid the argument type of bitch the fuck out of here. Okay. Um, all right. So I, I went through a list of reasons why Bob Marley was superior to Martin Luther King to help 
refine the scale one uses to understand who's a righteous person. And I'm not saying that everyone should be like Bob Marley. At the end of the day, he's a passive, Luciferian house nigga who just happened to do it more right than the other celebrities. With all due respect, you know, I want to smoke weed too. Life's a bitch. But with all due respect, are we led by lions or pussycats? By leopards or little kitties? Oh, look at, look at the cute little song and dance. Oh, oh, that's going to get the revolution done. When it comes time to transform people, is it he with a spirit of righteous indignation that should lead the revolution? Or don't, or, 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 or could you be loved? Then be loved. Is that a leader of a revolution? What are you, a moon temple bitch? Anyway. A Hecate. Isis as the most despicable attributes. Oh, she's sexy. We'll, we'll apply that. We'll apply that, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. We'll apply that. Oh, we'll apply that. We'll apply that. You're still a moon temple. Hecate, bitch. A Pasiphae, Circe type of scarlet. Okay. So anyway, as I went through the list, this is how it scores up. Being poor favors, uh, uh, being more associated with the poor. I have no friends in high society. Mark my identity. By a half point, it favors Bob Marley. Okay, Martin Luther King kind of dressed nice. He kind of had friends in high places. You know, he called them in jail. Hi, guys, look, 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 can you call off the white guys, your white secret society friends? Okay, um, I'll play ball, you know. Anyway, transcending. By a half point, it goes to Bob Marley because he chose them actually how to transcend and not to submit yourself to the church, which follows Hades, which keeps you in this world. Okay. But then again, Bob, uh, Martin Luther King had speeches where he was showing what transcendence looks like, so I give it to Bob Marley by a half point. All right. Uh... Malcolm X, right? History's New World Order stance. Oh, History's New World Order stance favors, uh, 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 excuse me, not Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. Okay? History's stance on the two favors Martin Luther King because we still have Bob Marley's movement being pushed and we do not have Malcolm X movements being pushed even though there is a, a Martin Luther King day. I believe I gave it to, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah by a half point, it, it favors Martin Luther King. Okay, not Dionysus. This is interesting. Dionysus favors Bob Marley. I don't know why I put that one. We'll just skip over that one. It's irrelevant anyway. Bob Marley's going to win either way. Okay, holiday. Malcolm. There's a Martin Luther King. There's not a Bob Marley day that favors, uh, um, you know, uh, Bob Marley. Especially because we have 420 is Hitler's birthday. It's not, you know, Bob Marley's birthday. All right. So when we, we, we kicking knowledge favors Bob Marley. Bob Marley gives us the wordplay, Ross Staff Airy. You know, he offers us an alternative uh, view of the Bible. Perhaps it is somebody who is an Ethiopian guy who is the, the offspring of Jesus and, and not favoring the white kind of narrative, which leads us to Luciferian cults, the Mona Lisa looking people and so on. Okay, the superior technique also favors uh, Bob Marley. Okay, the superior technique of, of transcending, right? Uh, transcending and delivering the message, okay? I'm not quite sure what I was getting at there, but certainly when we look in terms of, um, uh, uh, we'll, we'll say in terms of the Bible, okay, the superior technique of delivering the Bible's message, okay? You are to be poor. You are to hang out with the poor. You are not to support Babylon's system. You are to rebel against the system. And you are not to dress like a house nigga, right? The suit favors white people. If you ever look at it, right, very few black people look good in a suit. So fuck you doing wearing fucking suit clothes and, and these clothes. You're dressing like the white man wants you to do. You're spitting his version of the Bible and you're promoting a white Jesus, basically, you know, at the end of the day. Now, I'm not racist. I don't give a fuck about race. I, in the other video I went on and on about how house niggas are traitors and so on. Um, it is about culture. It is about truth. You know, does it matter if Jesus looked white or not? No. 
Does it matter that he it can only be legitimized through the Pharaoh's bloodline? Yes. Do I believe that something like that took place? Yes. Do I believe he was related to the Pharaoh? I struggle to believe it, but it is possible. The bottom line is the story of Jesus as presented to us is inferior to the story of Horus, the only begotten son of Ra, uh, the story of Narmer, Horus the Elder. Okay, bottom line. So at the end of the day, you know, one is better off following Horus, the top martial artist, the son of Ra, Narmer, than Jesus in the Bible, the church, or the Bible itself. The Bible is by the bull. The bull is not the superior son of Ra. It is the hawk. Okay. And that's why it is, you know, it was even an ostrich feather with Mayat, and I also reject this idea. There is no scale that is legitimate but the hawk scale. I described it differently in the past, but the ideas are the same. Horus gives you everything from God. Everyone else is just part of the infrastructure. Mayat cannot rule independently outside of Horus. Horus is Pharaoh. He rules on behalf of God. Only he can understand the cycle of the sun. The sun marshals everything together. It's the only thing that we see in, with our naked eye that marshals things together, that rules over things, that gives us life, it takes away. You know, it, it, it dries up crops, it gives them the sunlight they need to grow. You know, talk about spiritual growth, right? Is the moon giving you your spiritual growth? No, the sun is, okay? Only when the moon is submissive to the sun can it be considered a valid idea for women to use. But when we look at the treachery of lunacy and, and so on, and so by the time you factor everything in, it's safe to say the moon temple is a bunch of scum and only those who are in the sun temple submitting to the God's true representative are right with God. Okay, everybody and their mom is basically following a variation of Zeus, Dionysus, Hades, right? You, you seeing any communist born uh, any different than anyone else? You know, even in, in your constitution. All men are created equal. You're all pretty much these kind of innocent seeming little kids, right? Whether you have the genes of complete traitor scum and you're going to be that later, you start off as these innocent kids. In the Bible, it says, bring the children to me when they're young or they'll be lost forever, something to this effect. We all understand, you know, psychology, mental health, right? Child development, atheists kind of default with mental health when they're attacking and science, quote unquote, when they're attacking religion. Okay, we all can pretty much agree that we start off as little kids who are innocent seeming and then we move on to being some kind of party animal teenager. You know, oh, it's your teenage years, let's have fun, let's have fun. And then, you know, when we're older, we kind of become, oh, I'm mature and I'm settling down, right? This is, this is the Western way of doing things. I am one of the very few differences to the rule. I started off being innocent seeming, but I was very athletic and very athletically inclined which separated me. And this guy is a potential leader amongst men because of his athletic prowess, which will resonate with men. This guy can kill you naturally in ancient combat. To those people who are actually men, he's going to be the most logical leader. We're going to follow him. He has that martial arts insight, and he naturally can defeat us in ancient combat. To not follow him makes you say, well, why am I not following him? What the fuck? Am I going to follow some weirdo motherfucking politician? Some fucking, some celebrity fucking weirdo kissing baby a type bitch. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's not, this is not being the top martial arts here. This is not being the son of two doctors. This is not how, you know, uh, you can even be the type of motherfucker that needs to be told that this guy's the son of two doctors to then say, damn it, I, I can't say he's an idiot, you know, to, and still understand this. You can be, even be the type of person to look at me and not be able to tell that I'm the top martial artist very quickly and still understand what the fuck. It goes back to sense. When we see someone who doesn't play around, do we not, can we not tell? If you're looking at the top martial artist even on YouTube and you can't tell he's the top, what the fuck does that say about you? Your right to vote probably should be taken away. If you can't tell that I would outmaneuver anyone on the planet and cut out their fucking heart, even in this state, after being covertly drugged, and if you can't tell the difference of my videos when I'm being covertly drugged and when I'm not so drugged, what the fuck is wrong with you? And if you're a bitch who's going to use that as an excuse to pretend that, that I'm not right, you know, if the cripple wins the race, you can't see, he couldn't possibly have won the race, he's a cripple. I have fucking won. Covertly drugged, harassed, persecuted, dehydrated, fumed, on and on and on and on. Okay, with bitches trying to break my spirit instead of helping me rise up. Just having an attractive woman as your woman 
when being persecuted helps you come into the spirit of God because that is something worth protecting. I don't, you know, someone who's righteous, you know, who's beautiful and has the heart to stand with you. Okay, that's something worth killing motherfuckers over. 